Yeah, so today it's story time. Yes, because it's December, we want to create stories. And I'm going to tell you my most memorable, memorable, like the memories that I never, ever want to forget. And that's why I'm going to place them on YouTube. Yeah, so today we're going to talk about, basically not talk about, but I'm going to tell you a story of how I got confused with a transgender uh, activist in Kenya. So, and basically how I was treated for being, I don't know whether that person had messed up in that place or he will, I was just treated like that because they don't want anything to do with transgenders. I have no idea, but this is a true story that happened to me. And yeah, let's just proceed with the video. I'm telling you crazy things have happened to me. You know how we do this let's rewind our clock all the way back to 2015 yes the year was 2015 and for those of you who know me you know that in 2015 i was living in a town in kenya called mombasa all these crazy weird things happened in mombasa i don't know why but that's the time they happened like ever since i moved to the village i'm peaceful yes so for those of you who don't live in Kenya and you're just curious, Mombasa is like um, Kenya's tourist destination city because it's by the beach, it's by the Indian Ocean. So it's a beach town, let's say. It's like an Indian Ocean beach town. And the nightlife there is vibrant and there's beaches, there's hotels, there's tourists, there's what you get. The I was living in Mombasa with my elder sister. Yeah, and her, she was working, and me, I was doing, like, small contract jobs at that time, like, the kind that you do for, like, three months, you do another one, and all that. So I was living with her. And one day, my mom came from Nairobi, She, which Nairobi is the capital of Kenya. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? You know, Nairobi is the capital of Kenya, so my mom traveled with my younger sister, to Mombasa but my mom did not come and stay with us so my younger sister came to stay with us but my mom checked into a hotel which was actually White Sands Beach is it called yeah she was coming for a seminar at White Sands Beach Hotel in Mombasa now as usual when your mom comes you have to go and see her right so that's what I did I organized me and my small sister. Remember, my mom traveled with my small sister. So my small sister came to sleep with us, and my mom checked into the seminar, which was at the hotel, which was a White Sands Hotel in Mombasa. So me and my sister, we left home now in Mombasa to go to White Sands Hotel, and we took a matatu. So we took a matatu, okay? All the way up to Nyali. For those of you who know where Mombasa to Nyali, it's not very far. So we just took a matatu. Not a tuk-tuk. I'm at 4 p.m. Because my mom said that she'll have a break in the afternoon. Um, yeah, so she was going like to buy us tea and we can chill with her by the beach and all that. So I take a matatu. We reach Nyali. Uh, and the matatu drops us right at the gate of White Sands. Right at the gate, like... Yeah, opposite the gate, basically. So all we do is cross the road and we reach White Sands. So when we reach White Sands, as usual, they were like, I was like, we're entering. The guys were like, and then they ask us, like, what are you coming to do? Are you coming to swim? We were like, no, we are not coming to swim. Like, seriously, like, can't we just get inside the hotel? Like, what's the problem? And then... The guy at the security is like, no, everybody here has to be uh, to say what they are coming to do in order for them to enter the hotel at the gate. Remember, I'm at the gate. I'm not even at the reception. I've not yet even entered. I'm not even at the reception. I'm at the gate. Basically, I was not allowed into the hotel. Then we are like, but we've come to see somebody. You know, now we are getting irritated. Like, my younger sister is also like, what's the problem? Like, sheesh. It's not like you're, you're Bujalarab or anything. Like, what's the problem? Like, seriously, like, what's the ish? 
like it's you're just white sons like seriously the guy is like um you have to say who you're going to see and you know us we're also now becoming irritated like do we have to say who we are going to see so that we can be allowed inside the gate seriously okay we are like we're coming to see someone who is in a seminar they're like no I'm like seriously we're coming to see my mother now that when we said we're coming to see my mother they were like okay you can enter then it didn't end there it didn't end there i don't know what this guy audrey had done at white sands i really don't know maybe he should hit me up and tell me what he did or if he was just being treated like that because now in their heads they thought that i was audrey um if he was just being treated like that because he's trans- transgender i don't know but if that's how transgender people are treated polini seriously because i'm so sorry so i reached the reception it's not yet over we've we have done with the gate now eh? we've told them we're going with to see my mom i reached the reception okay and then this guy at the reception looks at me fishily and then he's like why are you going then my mom calls me by the way on my mobile she's like you guys where are you i've waited for so long i'm at the beach she was at the beach like there were some chairs near the beach so she'd gone there so my mom calls my cell phone she's like where are you guys i've waited for so long you've taken too long where are you i'm at the beach just enter i'm at the beach so the guy at the reception looks at me he's like where are you going I'm like we are going to see my mom. My sister is also like we are going to see my mom. Like what's the prop like what's the problem? Like is isn't somebody allowed to see their mother in Kenya like seriously? Okay, I'm like and remember we're only two ladies. We don't have a guy with us. We don't have anything. So at this point I I still don't know what the issue is, you know. I'm thinking we are not dressed like hookers. We were just like normal dressed in fact i had an airline dress like something you can literally go with to church so in my head i'm like hey she, like what's up okay the guy looks at me doubtfully and then he's like where's your mom then i'm like my mom is at the beach she's even calling me luckily when she called i told the guy my mom is even calling me she's like she's at the beach she's waiting and i'm not arriving like what's the problem like hey what's wrong so the guy's like okay you can go what happened the guy came the guy stalked me and my sister like he followed us without us knowing so when we arrive at the beach we find my mom seated on a chair so we sit we take another lounge chair not a really a lounge chair what are they usually called these long chairs at the beach so we take another chair we sit on it me and my sister we sit on it we start talking we see the same guy who was at the reception and then he comes and then he's like eh eh Madam kumbe kweli ulikuwa una unakuja kuona mamako ati pole tulidhani we ni Audrey I didn't even know who Audrey was at that time I'll just be honest I didn't know who Audrey was then my sister goes like she looks at me and then she's like oh, Audrey is the transgender activist human rights activist and then I was like I was so shocked but that guy just came to tell us that like literally he came to confirm if I've come to see my mom as I was saying and then he goes like oh to live any when you Audrey like we thought you were Audrey like and he tells us that he tells me that live to my face first of all calling a lady a transgender is offensive no offense to transgender people but it's also rude to call a lady like a man like seriously and then secondly like why were they treating me like that like what did audrey do like i was left with so many questions i was like what did audrey do that she had to be treated like that i was so shocked like I was so shocked and these people literally stalked me to the point from the gate one they did not allow me inside the gate and when they finally did they did not allow me through the reception and when they finally did they stalked me until where my mom was and my mom didn't even know you know it was just a one minute statement like oh kumbe you are coming to oh you are coming to see your mother I'm sorry we thought you were Audrey and the man left and i was just left like guys so basically when i tell you i've been mistaken for a transgender and that's not the first time by the way in mombasa there's also another story but that's a story for another day 
that they thought I looked like Audrey. I don't know whether I look like Audrey. Maybe tell me in the comment sections. Maybe I do look like her. I have no clue. But that's not the first time, like, seriously. Like, there's another incident again in Mombasa. I guess she's a frequenter in Mombasa. Or maybe she lives in Mombasa. Who knows? But, yeah, that's my story, guys. And uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I truly appreciate and for that incident, I will never, ever, ever go back to White Sands, baby. Never, ever, ever in my lifetime. No. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Ciao. <laughs> hey, don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. And also follow me on my beauty channel, which is Naninga Koei. And adio, papa.